Okay, this is what we're doing. Um, this is actually part of my cooking thing here. Everybody's saying, what is this? Well, this thing is for that watermelon over there, which I'm going to cut up, put it in, you know, organize it, and hopefully everything will fit in most of these things. And then the rest I'll eat. Um, now we're going to go to the olive oil. Everybody says, oh, what do you need olive oil? Well, this is the cheapest stuff from Walmart. Uh, and right over here, I have the potatoes. And those potatoes are important because I'm going to make potato chips with that uh, olive oil. And there's going to be no preservatives. So I'm going to try to cut down on the salt so it's healthy for you. And try to, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little recipe here. I'm going to take mixed nuts and grind them up and put them for a taste and the and added crunchiness and you know that way you we substitute for using salt and somebody like me that has high blood pressure I have to control my salt factor that means every time we gotta look at all the ingredients and this thing doesn't really tell you how much sodium well right over here zero percent sodium so this uh, oil is very good I mean, anything that has less oil is good for you. And if you have high blood pressure, you got to watch your salt. So now, you know, trying to go for the Caribbean kind of diet where, you know, eating watermelons, cantaloupes, everything, you know, nuts uh, where I would substitute regular chips like this. As you could see, I mean, there's no offense to Lay's. You see right over here? Right over here. See, the sodium is 6% per serving. Imagine how much uh, salt is in this whole thing. Um, you see right over here, potassium. Potassium is good. That's very good. But this is uh, the problem, the sodium. The point is that we're not going to put any salt. We're just going to take this potatoes here, dice them up really thin or you could have one of those uh, German kind of machines that that you can uh, you know slice things with um, it's really good I mean you should try it it's really good even if you cut it out you know make it thin slices but it's better to use the machine it's faster better and also you know it's fast <laughs> that's the main thing